The thing that was so attractive to us was to find a company that was producing all of these systems as a unit. So when we looked at buying the equipment, we weren't piecemealing, okay, here's Joe Blow's sandblasting machine and here's somebody else's drill and here's another saw. We have a complete package. And the really cool thing about having the complete package is everything is talking to each thing. Over the last several years, uh, we continue to invest in uh, good operating equipment, which includes a V631 drill, a V325 plate processing machine, as well as a VP25 paint line. We use the V631 to mill slots and block out copes be just to balance the workload. Some of the slots that we milled on the V631, it was three and a half inch plate, and it had a slot size of 15 16 by two inch. It is a very big advantage in that aspect. So the V325 has been a great addition to the rest of our equipment. We can process up to four inch plate, 120 inches wide, 240 inches long. Drilling obviously, it'll countersink, tap, and probably the most beneficial feature we've seen so far is the bevel head that it has. We have access uh, for up to 20 tools on the V325 for it can include drills, end mills, taps, and stripes. Five is also an added benefit to, to complement the structural profile, so it makes quick and easy layout in the fit-up shop. We do use milling features on it. Um, specific jobs require uh, very tight tolerances on some holes that are too big for the drill spindle, so in those scenarios, we have the automated end feed with the lift and carries, um, as well as a conveyor system for the small part. So after the part is cut, it drops onto the conveyor system and it conveys it out while the machine continues to process the rest of the material. Foreman works very well with us. Um, they're able to help keep the machine updated with the most recent updates, uh, keep the software fresh, and keep the machine running very well. This is the VP2500 automated paint line with a preheat tunnel. It gets the material up to temperature, then goes into the paint booth. Uh, where it gets painted all the way around and then proceeds into a drying tunnel uh, to help paint cure and then out to an automated outfit. We have a lot of infill beams that don't require any parts that are very good products to send through a paint line like this. With the right type of beams, infill beams like I mentioned, we could run typically between 40 or 50 beams a shift. The Vortman paint line uses the same software as the rest of the Vortman equipment, um, Baycam, so it's very easy to cross-train operators. The operating user face is very friendly, very easy to teach people to use. You load the material onto the end feed, um, you put it on your buffer in Baycam. The sensors and the material handling will come and find the material. They'll separate it out to the right distance uh, to allow for the paint to get on all four sides of the material. The paint booth has sensors in it that sense the material as it rolls through, so the sprayers don't activate until it is within contact of the material, and that eliminates a lot of wasted paint. You can have two different paints set up at the same time. The paint line is equipped with light curtains like the rest of the warm-in material, um, which is a good safety feature to have if something goes wrong, but also allows you to continue production in scenarios and doesn't shut down the whole equipment. We actually installed an automated door so we don't have to stage it inside and we have uh, unloading transfers out there. We look forward to continue working with Boardman as the future progresses. Uh, they have a lot of new equipment out that they're starting to promote and uh, we're excited to see once these machines come out into production.